Hey guys, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I'm coming back with another video as a follow-up to the last video I had where I talked about Solo, a Star Wars story. Just a few updates have happened since then, so if anyone's been following the Rotten Tomatoes score, you see that the audience rating is now down to, I think, 43, 44% of people who actually want to go see this film. This just does not look good. This is something I've, I've said on Twitter a few times already. I think that Solo, you know, it's coming out this weekend. I think that it's going to do roughly around $100 million, maybe a little bit more than that. But then I think there's going to be this massive drop-off after that for the second weekend. I'm, I'm guessing anywhere from 60%, if not more. Because if already there's people who don't want to see it, and since the critics are being very mixed on it at best, I just can't see how this movie is going to make any money. I, I, I honestly... I'm trying to find a silver lining. I'm trying to find how this movie could possibly make the Star Wars money that it normally makes. Because again, Star Wars movies typically, at least in recent years, have made roughly a billion dollars at least uh, at the box office. And this might be one of the first ones not to do that. So I just don't know what's really going on. But the one major thing I want to talk about was something that uh, John Campia mentioned in a tweet recently where he basically inferred, even though he might argue saying, hey, I didn't mean this directly, uh, but he seemed to infer that people who are criticizing this film already are a bunch of racist, sexist, uh, homophobes, and I just think that's totally inaccurate to, for, to, for the first part. But also, it's just, it, it's just immature. I mean, we're just honestly opening up about our feelings about this. We don't like the direction that Star Wars is going. This starts back all the way from even before The Last Jedi. Because, again, I'm a person where I actually really like The Force Awakens a lot. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was going in a really good direction. But I also thought it could have been a bit better. I really wish they spent more time with the original characters because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to see it was to see them. And also, I feel like that the story just could have been better overall. There could have been some... Uh, more cohesiveness to the overall story, but J.J. Abrams is a very capable director, and so in the end, it being a really good film, but there was still that desire there. There was still that want for a little bit of a higher quality film, and we hope that The Last Jedi might just do that, might just go in that direction. Again, I am not a Ryan Johnson hater as a person because I actually really like his previous work. I mean, Brick is probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's, it's definitely in my top top 20, top 30 films of all time because it's really good. I actually really liked Looper too. I thought it was a really great sci-fi story. And so knowing what he did with those films, I thought, okay, this is a guy that can take care of Star Wars and can do a lot of really cool things with it. And instead, what we ended up getting was we got this film that, yeah, it had some laughs to it, but as I mentioned in the previous video, the second time that I went to go see the film, it didn't hold up. So it's not lasting comedy. It's one of those things where it, it kind of shocks you. You're not expecting it. And so you laugh because you think to yourself, oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of entertaining. But then you see it again and you realize, okay, I know, I know it's coming now. And so now it's not as funny. And also there's just so many other problems with the film too. Just some of the things that they do with the Force that they've been doing since Force Awakens with making the Force just now this easy thing that someone who has no training whatsoever can somehow be really good at. Again, it just doesn't make any sense. And so for everyone that's criticizing this film and criticizing the franchise, Kathleen Kennedy, uh, Lucasfilm, and the direction that they're going, we have legitimate grounds to stand on. And it's the same reason why I've been talking, I've had a really good back and forth with someone on Twitter where I said, hey, I respect that you like this film because he's actually already seen Solo and he really likes it and he really hopes that people will give it a chance, that people will actually go out and see it because he thinks it's a really good film. And I respect him for having that opinion. But at the same time, I hope that others respect people who are critical of this film or the directions that it's going, critical of everything that the writers are talking about with this film. Again, going back to, once again, the conversation about, oh, well, you know, Lando Calrissian, he's a pan pansexual. It's like... What does that have to do with the film? That's just making us even more concerned. It's making us worry that this movie and this franchise is going to become nothing but about these political agendas. And we don't want that. Again, as I've said before, we want good movies. We don't care about that crap. Again, there's a very small group of people in the world that actually care about those political things and want those in their movies. Most of us don't. Most of us just want to have a good time, want to escape from the world, want to escape from all this crap that's existing right now in our political landscape, and we just want to have fun. Again, we just want to have fun with the movie. 
and unfortunately, it just doesn't look like they're going in that direction. So again, as I've said before, I plan on going to see Solo because I'm one of those persons where I think that in order to talk about a movie properly, I have to have been able to see it. But I can also speak from experience of watching films as they're about to open, watching and listening to critics, and the fact that this is still at a 71% from critics, and these are critics that would be people who would jump all, all on board the you know Social Justice Warrior train, are critical of it because the movie itself has flaws. And I go back to that critic critic consensus where it says if you're a fan you should check your expectations at the door again no regular person for any movie let alone a star wars film is going to actually do that no one is going to go in with tempered expectations people want to be blown away people expect great things to happen on screen and so when you have people like john campia on twitter who's calling people who are critical of the film and critical of the franchise and making all these valid points racist and homophobes and sexist it's just, again, one, it's immature to do that, and two, there's just no basis in reality for that. Again, look back to my other video where I talk about movies like Wonder Woman, like Black Panther. Those movies got really good reviews, not just from critics, but also audience ratings as well. And going back to this point, Black Panther had legitimate actual racists, actual white supremacists trying to attack it and trying to drive its score down. And it still had a really high score. It still had a 79%. So it still had a positive rating. Compare that to The Last Jedi, which had a 49, 48% a rotten rating from, from critics, or rather a rotten rating from audiences and a positive rating from critics. And you see that there's something not quite right there. And someone mentioned this in a comment saying, and then go back even further to The Force Awakens, which had all around acclaim from critics and audiences alike. So there's obviously a change that happened with The Last Jedi, and that change is obviously of a political nature, but then also of a narrative nature as well, because the narrative kind of just goes off the rails. It just doesn't really work. It doesn't make sense. And you feel really bad for... for the future of this franchise because what they've done in Last Jedi, some of those things just can't be undone. And you're interested to see, one, how they try and correct some of these problems that come about, but then also what, how, where can they really go from here? And so, again, we have legitimate concerns. And, again, I respect anyone that wants to go see Solo. I respect your decision to do so. But we just want the same respect back for us who either don't want to see it at all, for those who are boycotting the film. Again, I support the people boycotting. Again, I put the poll on Twitter, 66% of votes you know, of the 120 people that voted are boycotting it, and they have every right to do so. We have every right to do with our money whatever we want. That's why I'm a person that I'm going to buy a ticket to another film and then go see Solo because I want to see it so that way I can talk about it and I can talk about it more concisely, but also at the same time, I don't want to support this new direction that they're going in. And the best way I can show that is by not giving them my money. And that's what a lot of people feel is that we don't like this direction. We want a real change. And the only way that we feel that change can happen is if it's heard with our, if, if it's heard with, you know, with the box office numbers. You know, we can make our voices heard with the money that we spend or the money that we don't spend. And so for people like John Campia and anyone else on Twitter or on anywhere that's talking bad about people being critical of this or who's calling them racist and sexist for their views. I mean, guys, grow up. I mean, learn <laughs> learn a new tune. Actually start to engage on a more intellectual level because you can have a good discussion. Again, I've been having a great discussion with somebody who liked the film, who's already seen it, and we've been totally respectful with one another. Again, it's possible to do so. So instead of just going straight to the, oh, you're a racist and you're a sexist and you're a homophobe, how about instead you engage with the people and actually have a good, legitimate conversation? And how about this? You respect them for their views. Again, I respect anyone that's going to see it, that likes it, that enjoys it, and that likes the direction that this film is going in. I don't. I don't think it lives up to the tradition that Star Wars, you know, set aside. I don't think that it lives up to the original Star Wars trilogy. Again, I'm someone who did not like the prequels. I don't think that this is a good direction overall for the future of these solo projects, <laughs> pun intended. But these films where they're supposed to be one-offs, you know, we had Rogue One, which had production hell. Wasn't a great movie. We now have Solo, production hell. Probably is not going to be a great movie. Again, we have early reviews, we have early statistics to show that it's likely not going to be that great of a film. And it kind of puts into question, okay, what if they try and do a Boba Fett film? What if they try and do films that we kind of actually want to see? Because this is one that we didn't really ask for. So what are they going to do with films that we do want to see? We don't want to see those films get ruined. We don't want to see those films get bogged down by politics, by 
people who have no idea what Star Wars is, people who have no idea what the whole concept of the Force is, and we don't like that. And so I really hope that there's a change, really hope that this weekend the movie doesn't make a lot of money so that that change can be brought about. That's the only reason why a lot of us are speaking out about this because we want our voices to be heard and the best way that you can do that to a studio who relies on profit, who relies on money, is to not give them your money. And so that's the reason why people are boycotting it, that's why people are just choosing not to see it, and that's why people are choosing to buy tickets to other films to go see this film anyway. And I think every single one of those points is legitimate. I think every single one of those points comes from a, from a good place because all we want is a better product. And just like you have any other product out there, if you don't buy it, if you don't give your money to a company, the company then has to readjust. And what we're hoping is we're hoping that this is the film, that this is the moment when we can actually do that. And the people say, oh, tinfoil hats or oh, conspiracy theory. No, this is just a realistic by the numbers thing. We don't like the direction. We see the direction that they're going in based on what the writers have said about some of the characters in the film, Lando being pansexual, based on what early critics have saying, and 71%, yet yeah, that's fine for, for a movie, but for a Star Wars film, you should be in the mid to, mid to upper 80s at least, so it's not looking good, and also, we're still waiting on a lot of reviews to come out, so that number could go down still, and... If the early reaction and the critic consensus is anything to go by, it probably will go down at least a few more percentage points. But again, be respectful. Don't just call people and label people in that way because that's what we're fighting against and that's what you should be fighting against too. Is Instead of looking at people for these, these things, we should instead look at people as people. I know that's how I approach everything with my life and I hope that that's the way that you can start to approach people in your life too. Stop calling people racist and sexist and homophobes. You're cheapening the terms by using those over and over again for people who aren't sexist and racist and homophobic. For the actual racist, sexist, and homophobes, it just it cheapens the term so that when you're actually using it legitimately, people start to question whether or not you're being real or whether or not you're basing any of your thought in reality. And that's not a good thing. Again, we should save terms like that and words like that for people who actually live up to it, not for people who are just being critical of Star Wars. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for my video. Did you like what I said? Do you have any thoughts, any criticisms, any questions? Please let me know in the comments below. Again, I am starting to venture out on YouTube now. I'm hoping that I can make this a weekly, by you know, multi-week. I don't know. I'm still figuring out. I'm still figuring out the editing process. I've just got this whole you know, film set up to begin with. So I'm hoping that it's good. I'm hoping that you like it. And if you do, click that thumbs up. If you didn't, click that thumbs down. But either way, leave a comment below. Let me know. I would love to be able to contact you guys and have some conversations. Because as I said, I'm having some really good conversations with people on Twitter. We'd love to transition that to YouTube as well. So again, guys, hope you enjoy. And as always, God bless.